Hi, Steve Schlegel here. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about making the most of every opportunity and how it relates to two dogs. You know, in our business life, there are many opportunities that come to us and we need to take advantage of those opportunities. And I think back, you know, seven, eight years ago when the economy was a little bit different, things were going a little bit better for businesses in general. And, you know, I defined there to be two types of businesses just in general. And one of them I would call the fat and happy mentality and the other was the lean and mean. And the fat and happy people and the lean and mean, they all made decent money. The lean and mean people made more, but the fat and happy people could just chug along and you know, there was enough customers for everybody and, and a lot of businesses did well irregardless. Uh, but if we think about the economy today, a lot of those fat happy businesses, I've seen them go out of business over the last few years, or they're struggling and they're having a real difficult time in this economy. But you know, those guys who, those guys and gals who were running lean and mean businesses, they're still doing well and they're still very profitable in uh, what they do and how they've adapted and, and how they continue to manage their businesses. But how does that relate to two dogs? You know, I think about two dogs. Think about that family dog that's been around forever. It's, it's a happy dog. It's just laying out on the porch and soaking up some sun or laying in front of the fireplace. You know, you walk by, he might wag his tail a little bit and look at you and, you know, he's just a happy dog. But then you look at the puppy or one of those more high strung hunting dogs or whatever, and they're just dashing around and they're, they're sniffing over here, they're chasing that squirrel or rabbit and they're just running around and having a good time. And you know, they're just full of energy and they're really soaking up all of life. And you know, when we think about it in our businesses, what are we like? Are we like the first dog or the second dog? And when I think about those businesses that I talked about, the fat and happy mentality and the lean and mean, they kind of represent those two dogs. And you know, that dog laying in front of the fireplace, he's not going to move around much. Um, he's just content to be there and he's just happy to be there. And that's fine, but life might be passing him by too. And we know in business that we really have to be on our toes because our competitors usually are and they're out there banging away. And if we're not keeping up and if we're not outpacing them, we're not outthinking them, we're not out marketing them, uh, we're not out delivering them, we're going to lose our customer base. And eventually uh, we're going to struggle or we're going to go out of business. And so when I think about that, you know, that dog that's running around and, and really having a great time and chasing down everything, we can do that in our business. And if you think about the 80-20 rule as an example, you know, 80% of our results come from 20% of our activities in general. And so I would really like to be focused on that 20% piece that really drives my business. I want to continue to look at that and, and improve upon that. I did a video a while back called uh, Time is True Wealth. It's not money is true wealth, time is true wealth. It's the time to do the things that you want to do to enjoy opportunities with your family, to pursue hobbies or other things that you're really interested in, to be able to travel, to do whatever it is that you want to do. But in order to do that, your business has to run well. A lot of people start businesses and are shocked by how much time it takes. You know, it can be all encompassing. And if you approach it with that sort of fat and happy mindset, I mean, you might be working really hard, but if you're not focused on how you're running your business and working on that, and focusing in on that 20% of the activities that really are going to drive 80% of your results. If you're not doing that, then it's not going to work out very well. And so the people that I've seen over the years that are really successful in their business are the ones that lock in and are focused on it. And they work hard, but they work hard on those 20% matters so that they have plenty of time to pursue the other things that they enjoy doing in life. And you can do that too but it takes some focus and some dedication to make the most of every opportunity. Think about the picture of those two dogs, decide which one you want to be. And when you're locked in and doing what you're doing, you better be like the pup or the hunting dog that's just racing around. You got to be 
race it around and focused on what's important in your business. And if you do it, it'll make a huge, huge difference. So hope that helps out a little bit. Um, and maybe you'll get some ideas there. I do really encourage you to take a look at how the 80-20 principle works in your business. And there's a book on Amazon called the 80-20 Marketing and Sales or something like that. Uh, it was written by Perry Marshall anyway. And you can take a look at it. Uh, it's, it gives you some really good insights into managing your business and your marketing process using the 80-20 rule. And I highly recommend it. It's a great book. Thanks for listening. Steve Schlegel.